Over the last few weeks, we've been asking you guys at home to send through your really cool Koo recipes, or maybe you've got some adventurous stories that you've gotten up to in the kitchen with your Koo products. We have received a lot of really good recipes, but some have stood out. This one in particular, Chef Alice is back um, to help us whip up what looks like a delicious treat. But first of all, I have to ask, and we're talking about an upside down pear and apple and walnut tart, which makes me excited on a number of levels. But what, <laughs> what made this stand out? Because we have had some pretty cool entries. Right, one of the things that makes it stand out for me, Graham, is there's a trend towards utilizing different products in classics. So mm. an upside down tart is generally a pineapple dish. Okay. In this, our stunning viewer has used our apples and our canned pears as well. So that's double the points for double, using two so products. Two well, products well, and <laughs> this, this lovely take on a classic. I love that. Now, a classic says to me, you can also be versatile about this. If we're turning this up, uh, when would we be eating this? What, what would be the ideal time? You could eat it anywhere, Graham. You could have it for breakfast. You could have it as a high tea. And my personal favorite, with champagne. Oh, I love it. Well, we're going to do it for breakfast this morning. <laughs> All right, so Alice, we're going to recreate this little um, gem here, this piece of magic. Where do we start? I'm seeing the pears already. In okay, right. So because it's an upside down tart, we're going to do it backwards. Uh -huh. So we're going to build it from the bottom. Okay. So what we've done is we've already arranged our pears. Beautiful. Okay. Then I'm going to create a gorgeous cinnamon sugar syrup. And that's going to hold the pears together. And then finally, I'm going to add a layer of pastry. We're going to let it cool and we're going to flip it over and we're going to have this beautiful visual of our concentric pears oh. and apples. Oh, I love that. It looks like something rustic as well for no, winter. You know, it's going to be... Lovely and thick and serve it with creme fraiche. Oh, oh, yum, man. yum, okay, yum. Okay, get going, get going. Okay, oh, right, my, so we're going to add... Is peak now. Yeah. Can you help? I can, with can pleasure. Can you add what the sugar, please? Okay, there, we, there go. we go. Right, we're going to use brown sugar because it's got a beautiful caramelised taste yeah, to it. love it. And my personal favourite, vanilla. And do you know vanilla keeps mosquitoes away? I don't know, even in winter these days we get our mosquitoes. Oh, right, okay, lovely. I'm going to leave you here. Can Thank you do you so some much. stirring for me? I can, with pleasure. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to arrange all the little apple pieces, pop them in between my pears. Oh, nice, so you're just filling in the blanks. I'm going to yeah. fill in the blanks. Oh, oh extra and you're protein those, those. for the nuts. So there doesn't need to, the first layer needs to be pretty, but after that there doesn't need to be a lot of art. We'd love to have the two layers, so we're just going to slop them in there. And then I've got some pecan nuts. There we go. Oh, have a taste. Nice. Lovely, Thank lovely, lovely. So there we go. Mm. I'll break these down. Oh, those are delicious. How's mm. your caramel doing, Judy? That's looking lovely. It's starting okay. to brown. I think the Fabulous. butter is starting to get that just nutty. Just want to take that off the heat for me for half a second. Mm. Mm. Okay, we're just going to let it cool a little bit because otherwise it's going to run through the bottom of the of our spring form. Okay. We've lined our spring form with a bit of wax paper so it comes out easily. Yeah, as mm. one must, yeah. Yep, absolutely. That's looking perfect. Let's just let it chill. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to just pop this down. Okay. While these are just, our syrup is cooling, we're going to make our pastry. Oh. Now, our pastry is a short crust pastry, so what that means is we haven't added any egg to it. Okay. Okay, we've got the flour, we've got a bit of icing sugar. What the icing sugar does is it gives us a bit of sweetness. Mm. Okay, we've got a little bit of corn flour, and that's going to give us a lovely short crust. Oh, very nice. And yeah, I suppose you want fine. this to be nice and dense to kind of complement the crispy, fruit. And yeah. crispy as crispy. Mm. Right. When we're making pastry and graham, the important thing is to add as much air as we can to it. Okay. So we're going to start by just shuffling it through. And I love making pastry. There's something so intimate about touching yeah, your food. Yeah, tactile, yeah. And you want to add some softened butter. All right. Okay, the reason we soften it is otherwise I would have very sore hands. <laughs> this okay. is a good, a good winter workout. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and then what we want to do is we're going to mix it and mix and mix it until it forms little small crumbs. Okay. All right. Now we need to lift it up every time because we're adding air in. We don't want to over mix it because otherwise we get a very dense pastry. Okay, so you mm. want to find a balance yes, there. Yes, absolutely. Okay. There's a little bit of a cloth oh, for Oh, thank hands. you. You're an angel. <laughs> right. Okay, so once we've got our pastry, we add a little bit of flour so it doesn't stick to your rolling pin. Okay. And then my little secret is to roll your roll your pastry underneath a piece of baking pa paper. That way it doesn't stick. Oh, brilliant. Well, there's nothing more heartbreaking than Absolutely. getting half of your pastry on your okay. rolling pin. You want to let your pastry roll a bit, oh, at least rest a bit, because otherwise it's going to be mm. overworked. Yeah. Pastry gets tired too. You have really. a bit of backbone, yeah. Absolutely. So let's just give ourselves a little bit of flour on my hands. Oh man, I love the way that the, the oats is worked in there. It's, no, it's a, just beautiful. A such texture a texture to beautiful it as well. texture. Yeah. Go. All right, so this one we can actually. Oh, lovely. I suppose you've got to be careful not to have little pockets of air in there as well. You don't want that, that air super heating no, when you, it's. No, you do want the air, right? because okay. you need it to rise. So ah, the air is the important part of the That's going to be like the, yeah, so the jack in there, too. Absolutely, to make it springs. And we're going to just squish this flat here. 
Okay, so we've got the right side of the size of the pot. Okay. I'm just gonna, just gonna skip this up. Now this is the right side of the pot. We're gonna add the caramel. Okay. Ooh, oh, look at look that. At that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That looks delicious. All right, would you like to get your fingers wet? I can. There we go. Do you wanna do a bit of squeezing for me there? Okay, so now we're gonna just fill our space in. Eh? Absolutely. Well, I'm hoping that I'm just gonna get the first option to taste, taste this at the end. But of you course know, you are. There um, we go. It generally right. takes quite a lot to get to kick my sweet tooth in, and this is doing it in a big way. This Ooh. looks lovely. Okay, very, super. very nice. Now okay. all we're gonna do is pop it in the oven. Okay. And voila! So how long in the oven? About 20 minutes, just enough for your pastry to stick. Yeah. If you want to see how we got to this point, let's do a quick little recap. We'll take you through a step by step to see how we created our upside down tart. That's not upside down yet, but it will be soon. <laughs> For the pastry, mix flour, oats, corn flour, icing sugar and butter. Then refrigerate for 10 minutes. For the filling, place butter, sugar, vanilla and cinnamon into a pan and melt. Arrange walnuts, pears and apples on the bottom of the cake tin. Pour cinnamon butter over the fruit. Roll pastry out and place on top of the apples, tucking the edges into the inside of the tin. Bake for 40 minutes. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. You can also SMS the keyword KU to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Just click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMS cost one rand fifty. no free SMSs and T's and C's apply. If that was a little quick for you, don't worry, you can get the recipe sent directly to your phone. All you have to do is SMS the keyword KU to 33728, that's KU to 33728. We'll send you a link, click on the link and the recipe is all yours. It's going to cost you one rand fifty per SMS and terms and conditions apply. Well, I know I've got a little bit of a wait before I can taste it, but it looks absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. I think this is quite a special recipe. It is absolutely beautiful and I look forward to sharing it with you. Oh, if you are lucky. Well, if you'd like to see Alice recreate your genius here on Expresso, what we want you to do is send in your Koo recipe or your adventure in the kitchen using Koo products. You've got to mail us at food at expressoshow.com. That's food at expressoshow.com. We could be recreating that brilliant, brilliant recipe live on Expresso. Only the best cooks serve Koo because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve Koo, you can trust you serving only the best.